Ninja Day Entertainment here, back with another type of review. This time we are going to start looking at Lego Power Miners, a line that is very nostalgic to me. Came out in 2009, the original wave, and then there were some more sets released in 2010. This is one of the original sets that came in the first wave. This is set 8959 um, Claw Digger. So this set comes with two minifigures. Um, I know the rock monster in this set is called Sulfurix, but I can't remember what the miner is called. And I could not find any references to the names anywhere. So I'm just going to call him Power Miner. So first, let's have a look at Sulfurix. So you can see Sulfurix has, so is a mainly lime green with some grey parts. You can see he has the opening mouth, which you can put one of the crystal moulds just in there. He has arms with normal minifigure hands, which you can use to pick stuff up. And he is smaller than other minifigures, but he is very cool and I really like the look of him. It's nice printing on his face and... Um, I really like him. He is made up of four pieces, the head, the arms, and the body, although you wouldn't really take the arms off. So that is Sulfurix. And now we will have a look at our power miner in this set. I can't remember what he's called, but he looks very cool. You can see he has this bomb sign on his jacket which signifies that he is one of the bombers he's a bomb expert he has some lots of nice little printing including um a um pair of wire cutters or something um he has a very nice determined face there but he also has a more scared face um he has a lot of stubble as well there's also some nice leg printing and he has the power miner's helmet. He also has a bit of back printing as well, which shows that he is a bombing expert. He also has the yellow minifigure arms. Um, so yeah, now let's move on to the actual build of the set. So this is the build of this set. You can see it is very nice. The, the main play feature is these big claws which go up and down and so does the other one so that's quite cool um, it also has a bucket on the front which can lower down so then you can um, scoop up your crystals like that and then drive off with them it has some like headlights on here some stickers you can see these claw pieces are very nice this is what this is what you use to move the arms. Um, you have a very nice console piece here. I'm guessing it's showing some, some kind of map in there. Although um, it's very nice. Um, you also see some sticker detailing on here, and there's the cockpit which rolls open. It's like a roll cage. You can see you just have two little. Um, Handlebars, um, no, um, George, um, levers there, which you can use to operate this thing. You also have two very big lights and a pickaxe in the back here. Um, has the big wheels, which are made out of plastic, hard plastic instead of the rubber. But you can see it has a very big engine section here, which looks really cool. Lots of detail on here with lots of little exhausts and outlets. This can move from side to side a bit. That is intended to just stay sort of central. You can also see there's another sticker there with some kind of fuel gauge or something. The worst part of this set is looking at it from the side because it sort of looks a bit um bad. It It's not up to the standard of what Lego is now where it covers up all the ugly parts of the set. Same on the back there, it's a bit ugly there. But you do have a bit of dynamite and chainsaw. So it's quite nice. Nice build. 
But now I will move on to the instruction booklet because I do not have the box intact anymore. But you can see there's a nice bit of art that would be on the front of the box as well. You just have the building instructions. And then at the back we have the old fashioned version of the win. It has some stuff to fill out and send in if you wanted to, to help you win Lego sets. Um, you also have an advertisement for the Lego club. And this nice big poster of Power Miner stuff. You can see you have the Thunder Driller, which I got recently, and that robot thing. You see, see you have some Power Miners and Sulfuric down here. You see some of the um, alternate builds that you can do when you compi combine two of the sets. You can see if you combine this one with the Thunder Dr um, with the um, Crystal Sweeper, and you can make this very awesome vehicle. Although I will not make it because I only have one of each of these sets, and it will get very confusing. Thunder Driller and the Granite Grinder combine here to get this vehicle. I don't really like the look of it; it looks a bit weird. And then these two smaller sets combine to get that, which also looks kind of awkward for me. This one is by far the best. And then you see advertisements for the main play features of each set. You can see the spinning on that one, the grab and spinning feature on that one. The granite grinder feature on that one, the chopping feature on that one, the drilling feature on that one, and the sweeping feature on that one. You can see where you get each figure. You get melt trucks in that small set, boldracks in the other smaller set, Gla glaciator in the granite grinder, and thunder driller, sulfurics in the um this set, the Firox minifigure in the Thunder Driller and Glaciator and Meltrox in the Thunder Driller. No, the Crystal Sweeper, sorry. We also have another big advertisement here and it shows all the sets. There's also an advertisement for the Lego Power Miners website and then you have the piece count and stuff. So, on to the final verdict. I think this is a very cool set and it's definitely one to get if you are a Pal Power Miners fan. I believe it was about £20 when it first came out, um, but now it would probably be close to 30 Um But I think this is a very good set and I would give it about 8 out of 10. Um, main reason for that being the ugly parts on the side. And thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more Lego Power Miners reviews.